Hello my beautiful butterflies, it's Quinn and I am here with my haunted photo, Mary. That's right, I got another haunted item, guys. <laughs> I recently bought Mary off of Etsy. I haven't really worked with her yet. I know she's comfortable here. I've asked her questions, if she likes it here, if my other spirits like her, if she likes Amelia and Nate, and they all like each other. So I know pretty much that. When buying Mary, I got some information from the seller. So I'm gonna go over what I know with you guys as of now, but I don't know much about her yet. I want you guys to leave some comments of questions that you guys want asked from Mary. If you haven't already, make sure to follow my Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all that good jazz. Hey guys, it's Quinn from Editing here, and I just wanted to add in one more thing before we get on with the rest of the video. I have merch now. I currently have two designs out, and I'll put each of them on screen for you guys to look at. Links for my merch will be in bio, and if you want to support me, make sure to check that out below. I'm getting mine in the mail soon, and I hope to see you guys wearing it. If you guys do purchase any, make sure to tag me in any photos that you post online. And just, ah, I'm excited! But without further ado, let's get on into the video. I have my triangle REM pod thing with me and my EMF detector. I turned the EMF detector on and I'm going to turn the REM pod on so if she wants to reach out during any time while I'm explaining her story of what I know so far, she can do so and let us know she's with us. All right, we're all ready to go. And this is Mary, by the way. This is what she looks like. Isn't she pretty? Here's our triangle REM pod set up, so she can either touch this side or this side, and it will go off. All right, Mary, if you want to let us know that you're here anytime during the video, these crystals and candle will help you communicate with us. Energy of light and love is allowed into this space. No negative forces are allowed near me to touch me, to mess with anything. And let's get on with the video. Mary died at the age of 27. She was independent and talented. She wanted to be a writer or an artist or even a chef. She didn't strive to be like the other ladies in the 1960s. She didn't want to marry young and she didn't want to have kids young, which was normal for that day and age. Most women when she was young and still growing up were married by the age of 22 and had kids already. That's not what Mary wanted for her life. Because of her different dreams, her family saw her as an outcast, the black sheep of the family. And her family was hard on her. I don't know if they were abusively hard or just emotionally hard and just wanted more from her that she didn't want to give up yet, but I don't know. Another reason that she was an outcast is that she didn't have many friends. Women's husbands saw her as a bad influence because she wasn't like them. She wasn't married, she didn't have kids. Even though she was seen as an outcast back then and a bad influence back then, she was really just a sweet lady who wanted more for herself. I don't know how she died. I don't know when she died. I don't know when she was born. This photo was taken in July of 1960. I don't know if she was 27 in this picture or how old she is in this photo, but that's definitely something we can ask and find out if she's comfortable with it. Mary is more active than my other spirits. Her past caretaker gave me a few notes that I think you guys would find kind of interesting. Her old caretaker says that she would have dreams about Mary and that Mary would enter her dreams and read her works to her. Like I said, Mary wanted to be a writer, an artist, or a chef. So the lady that had her before me had dreams where Mary just came in and just started reading her old works. I honestly hope that you share some of your works with me, Mary. She's also known to slightly play with hair, and that did kind of make me think about second guess about getting her but she can do it to me all she wants, just not my roommate and my fiance, so. 
I don't think she would have a problem with that. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my my triangle REM pod is making a noise. I don't think it just does that, guys. I don't think it's just supposed to randomly make noise. Mary, are you here with me? Yes, she is. Mary, are you making my triangle REM pod not work? Why would you do that? Man! If I turn it back on again, will you stop messing with it? Okay. <laughs> Bruh, it's working now. It's actually working now. What the fuck? Mary, are you 27 years old in the photo? No, okay. Wait, are you like 25 or 26 in that photo? Yes, okay. Mary, do you remember your birthday? Okay. Cool, cool. Are you 25 in that photo? Quick yes, okay. Mary, were you born in 1945? Yes, all right. Were you born in the first six months of the year? No, okay. Were you born in July? Yes. Okay, she was born in July. Were you born the first 10 days of July? Yes, okay. Mary, were you born July 1st? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mary is so quick to answer questions. Like she answers while my other spirits, Amelia and Nate, take like a little bit longer to answer sometimes, but she's just like on the ball. Mary, are you comfortable talking about your passing with me yet? No. Okay, that's okay. Take your time, don't feel rushed. Mary, you like staying here, right? Okay, good, that's good. Would have been funny, she's like, fuck this place, get me out of here. All right, my beautiful butterflies, that is all I'm going to be asking Mary for this video today. If you would like more videos with my haunted photo Mary or my haunted statue or my haunted doll, make sure to like, comment, let me know what you think. Do you guys have any questions for Mary? Because I definitely will ask her, so make sure to comment them below. If you guys didn't know, we do have a butterfly family member discord. The link should be active for about seven days, so check the description. It would be great to talk to y'all, and I love y'all very much. Goodbye, my beautiful butterflies.